Good morning. Oppositions in everything that we do. Opposition in happiness, sadness, health, sickness, um, light, darkness. There's oppositions everywhere. Why do you think that is? Why? The reason for that is for one thing. I call it agency. Choices. You get these choices in your life. What do you do with them? We have the opposition happening all around us. Yesterday, I fell into some dark, (laughs) into some darkness. I'm all about this light. And for myself, I started a lot of doubt and just, I would say, just awful, awful words were just popping into my head. You can't, you're not good enough. All the things that the shame shadow oppresses us with, that was going on live 100% yesterday. That activity was really hard. So I knew it was happening and I knew I was in it and I had a choice to make. So I want to try to explain to you in these choices that we have, if we're going to turn towards light, turn away from the darkness, that darkness always stays there. It's where we are looking. If we're looking towards the source of light or if we're looking behind us, always in the shadow, that shadow, (laughs) shadow never it never just leaves it is with us it's connected to us it's right there because as there's light and as you stand there the shadow will be behind you if we're always looking behind us at that shadow and not turning towards the light then we're going to be stuck so in yesterday when I like fell into that darkness that was really hard because I could feel myself saying, turn to light, go this way, go this way, make these choices. But it had a grip on me and it was hard and I was kind of going down. So I just said, stay within it. And I just remember thinking, okay, I know at the, like, we'll get over this. At the end of this, there'll be something different. So the choices were to go through it, knowing that there's hope and light at the end. And I knew it would end if I went through it and didn't fight it or ignore it, if that makes sense. So it came over and I just could feel this spiraling down. So I knew if I started some action, that would help. And so I just started cleaning. And I started cleaning, cleaning, cleaning my kitchen cabinet doors. They needed it for a long time cleaning in that and just allowing the tears to fall and the anger and those bad hurt words for myself, just letting it all pour out. And as I was doing that activity, I could feel the release, right? So that was a choice I made to go through it, to go through it and make that choice to release that shame, the dark, that all the bad words that were just pounding on me yesterday. So in that action of the cleaning and kind of going through, I knew at the end of that kind of the tears are finished and you kind of have this, what do I do now? Still hasn't like changed over to bright and sunny again, but it's better. So I I knew I needed to make a phone call. So I contacted someone who um, I would call her a strategist. And for her, she gave me exactly what I needed. Basically, all she did was tell me to remember who who you are, what you have, what you've been doing, and just to remember that. And that's what I needed. And I needed it from her. And she gave that to me in such clarity. And I knew that I could just keep going. I stopped the activities. I took the kids, we went and just enjoyed the rest of the day while I was thinking about all of these things. And sure enough, the choice I had made to turn towards the light, it wasn't like, there I am, back in the light. It was kind of coming around, coming around, coming around, and here I am again. So 
it's always important to remember that we have choices and that's why we're here. We have choices to choose from the light. We have choices to choose from the dark. Um, they are that clear. The action and how fast everything happens is not because that's the life part. Sometimes, especially like with depression, we're in it for um, months, weeks, years, a lifetime. But there are hope and pieces of light that we can always turn to. And if we make the decision to turn towards that, even though our shadow is behind us, if we're always turning back towards that light, we see more and more and can progress more. So opposition, it's everywhere. Don't fight the opposition when it happens in the sense of trying to control it, wishing that it was never there. It's always going to be there. Fight for right. Um, choose, <laughs> choose right over wrong. We get, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that in the control of things, you don't have that control. Life is just going to happen. And those dark times and the trials are going to happen despite all your best efforts. And if you start to think, oh, why me? Why me? Stop that way of thinking. It's happening. Pick up your strength. Rely on something more to help pull you through. Go through it. And on the outside, on the back side, you're stronger for it. These oppositions are for your growth. Okay. Love you guys. Be that light. Be the beacon of light. Shine on. Help someone today. Even if it's helping yourself. You're someone. So it's okay. All right. We'll see you guys.